after two beautiful nights stay in Vendorum, we decided that we were going to do two nights stay in the Donegal town. So that's what we're doing. And I was so excited for this because I'd been to Donegal so many times with my grandma as a child, but I'd never actually stayed there as an adult and had a few drinks and really just got to experience Donegal kind of nightlife. So I was so excited to be able to do that with Sean. Donegal has the nickname Ireland's Forgotten County. Donegal is a large county at Ireland's northwestern corner. It's an amazing place to experience Irish traditions, hear the Irish language or explore the untouched bogs and mountains of the region. It caused a bit of controversy when I classed Donegal as Ireland's Forgotten County on Instagram and I just want to clarify by this, I do not mean it is forgotten by the Irish public, I mean more so by the government. Yes, it is easy to access if you drive a car and there is a airport there and there is also bus services from town to town. However, unless you have a car, you are going to really struggle to get around Donegal in terms of into the wider parts of Donegal. They don't have a real um, service or a train. You'll find plenty of references to Donegal being called the Forgotten County due to its positioning and political issues. However, I honestly love Donegal and if you are looking for a new place to explore in Ireland, I would highly recommend Donegal Town. It's such a beautiful town. I love it so much and honestly, if I could move anywhere, Donegal Town would probably be on the top of my top list. Not an ideal start to the day. Uh, today's the day where we are going from Bundoran to Donegal Town Centre, Patrick's Day, and we've got a nail in the tyre. My cousin Gary is going to plug it, I think. So we're just putting a bit of um, air in it to get it to his house, and I think Gary's going to help us and sort it. What a fucking day. Paddy's Day of all days is, you know, when most people are busy. I mean, I don't think Gary is a mechanic, but we went to a man does, and he was like, if you send them down, I'll plug it and um, put air in it. So we're going to just have to do that and then try and get the dunny goal in it. Bloody Nora. Right, is that okay? Come in. Aye, it's okay. Right, we're just telling them what's happened. <laughs> Bloody nightmare. <coughs> right, so we're going to head to Gary's and see if he can help us get it sorted and then hopefully we'll get a Donegal town. My cousin Gary has um, put a plug in the tyre, got us to Donegal, so I think it's done. He sorted that for it. We uh, just got to Donegal, can't check in till four, so we're going to head into the town, probably see the parade and stuff, and then we'll check in and then head out for dinner because our dinner's booked at six tonight. So we'll check in, head out for dinner and that later and then stay out for the night but that's what the situation is just going into the town this is Donegal Donegal so we're just staying five minutes from the town centre so we just got to walk over here so we are in St Paul Simons we're going to have something to eat um, we've got dinner booked at six but we're starving so we had um, well Sean's not starving I I'm actually really hungry mate Actually, yeah, my breakfast was quite a small one to be fair, but yeah, it looks buzzing in the town. There's a lot of people around, so Lord uh, dear, oh that's Dublin. Jesus, look at that guy. Sean's just been found it on TikTok. How busy it is. Like Sunny Golf, not like that. Well, I don't know. It's not now. <laughs> not sure, but um, yeah. So we're just gonna stay out in the town until we can check in at four and then check in and get ready and stuff because I want to do a bit of makeup and put a different outfit on for a night nice shenanigans. Excited. I want to listen to someone play on an accordion. Um, my cousin Shane, I believe, is playing today but not in Manor Hamilton. Uh, no, he's playing in Manor Hamilton, not Donegal, which I'm good about. I would absolutely love to have seen him play again, but hopefully next time. Sean wanted a light bite. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think it was going to be that big, did he? <laughs> and this is mine, potato stack. I'm actually buzzing, it looks unreal. Daddy's day ready, I've gone dramatic. I'm in a leprechaun dress with a little green hat. The English show is an Irish. Sean did have a top, but it doesn't fit him, does it? <laughs> so uh, that is what is happening. Okay, this is the little dress. Leprechaun, I've had to put my skirt underneath it though because it was a bit shorter than I anticipated. I've got the little loafers on and I'm using this as a shawl because I don't want to wear a coat because I'm from Newcastle and we don't wear coats. When I've got the hat, the hat to keep part. Mm -hmm. How do I look? Lovely. What are you rating us? 10 out of 10. Oh, you're just saying that now because you I'm got dip for rating us low. Okay. Mm. You should know. Mm. Anyway, we are heading into the town, see if the parade's on, see what the crack is. <laughs>
Donegal Parade was so nice. It's so nice how they bring the communities together to do the parade. There were so many people there and honestly me and Sean really enjoyed it. We'd never seen St Patrick's Day Parade before so it was a whole new experience for us and we found it really, really good and such a lovely feeling. The fact that the full community comes together and, you know, celebrate St Patrick's Day and the parade. There were so many families there and it was just overall such a lovely environment. Dinner time, I've gone for soup for starter. Sean's having the soda bread and fish chowder. And I also have a bap as well, which I'm gonna demolish. I feel so hungry tonight. Guys, we uh, had dinner and literally, like, conked out. We were, I had three courses, I was so full. <laughs> and Sean was not bad. And then we went back to the room, had a strategic nap. <laughs> um, so we're fit and ready to go again. I've changed my outfit. It was just something a bit more comfy because the stomach got bloated after dinner. So I'm just in my long black dress from Curve Wow. But we're heading back out for part two. It's nine o'clock. And you know, the best thing about Ireland is like the music and stuff doesn't actually start till late on, does it? Like nine. So we've had a good power nap there. I feel actually really great, me now. I feel fucking refreshed as fuck, I do. I can tell we're getting the hour 30. It's like when we're having to have power nap <laughs> mid-holiday, midnight. <laughs> Anyway, had a power nap and we feel amazing. So we're heading out to go and see who's about, who's playing. I'd love to get in on a trad session if there's any going. So I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna be involved. I'd like to sit and, you know, sit and take in the vibes. Um, I think there's a club pub up here which has one. So we'll see if we can get in it. But part two of the night is- Going to a trad session was a huge part of coming to Ireland for me as a child because my cousin Shane used to play in them all the time so I was so excited when this one was here so I could take Sean to it. If you don't know what a trad session is, um, it's basically a casual and sometimes even impromptu gathering of musicians who come together to play traditional Irish music and honestly they're so lovely. There's usually lots of different people there playing lots of different instruments and there was a gentleman there playing an accordion which I was so excited about because I love an accordion. I came away from this Irish holiday day thinking I was going to learn to play the accordion that's how impulsive I am I'm probably not but you know he has to thinking I can do shit when I can't with that being said let's experience an Irish trad session together <laughs> Oh, let's give it up for Jake. Honestly, I didn't know who this was when this performance happened. And I just thought, oh my God, that lad has got vibes. I absolutely loved it. He just came out of nowhere and like performed that song. And it was so good. And then later on in the evening, um, a, a 
someone come up to us and said they watch my YouTube channel and I was like no way um, and he was called Diary I really hope I'm pronouncing it right I'm so shockingly bad with these Irish names but I believe it is Diary um please correct us if I'm wrong anyway it was his partner Jake who did the performance to this song and I got chatting to them they were so lovely they were actually from Donegal so yeah it just was I, it ended up being such a lovely evening and I had a lovely chat with them and I had to include this segment because Jake's performance was a huge part of the trad session for us. Now we've changed our eating habits. Eh? <laughs> we're back in the hotel room now and I've got myself a little apple. Well, we, we, we did want to go to the chip, you're not going to lie, but it was absolutely heaving, so we decided against it. We couldn't be asked, but we've had a really good evening and it's funny because we were saying before, like, we were both so tired, weren't we? Like, oh, we're easily good little thing, having, a kip. having a good 45 minutes. Like, if one of us had literally turned around and said, We were just staying, we're shattered, I think we would have, you know. Uh -huh. We wouldn't have thought twice because it was at that like stage of sleep where you just want to kind of like roll over and go back to sleep. But I was like, No, get up, like it's Paddy's day, we'll be absolutely gutted if we come all the way to Donegal and fucking stay in bed. And we had a, it was really good though. We stayed in the one bar all night. Um, real, 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 raw, real. Reeling, I think that's what it was called, um, but they had a trad session on. It was just so good, really good. I loved it. Um, we've had a good day, so back in the hotel now. Got our apples, got our cuppers. Mm. You stopped farting in my videos. You're doing it loads recently. Oh, it's just... rank. Can you not wait? Nope. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the morrow we're just <sighs> probably going to like have a bit of a lie in and then head into the town for breakfast maybe go for a look around a few of the shops if they're open because it's a bank holiday yeah so i'm not really sure yeah. if they'll be open um and we've got dinner booked tomorrow night with margaret and grandma so hopefully we'll be making it there but it's been a great day great day isn't it yep, your, fir your first trad session do you enjoy it yep. it's a man of many words mm -hmm. <laughs> I my words are worth a fortune then all oh, right is that the case you get a sentence here let me Sean got chatted up the night as well, didn't you? No. Bloody woman says to me, is that your partner? <laughs> says I, it's my fiancé. She went, oh, she went, he's dead good looking, isn't he? I was like, oh, I think so, I. And she went, oh, she went, I mean, you're not bad, but he's dead good looking. I was like, you fucking cheeky bitch. Yeah, you have stuff, like. <laughs> Shit, well, I. Anyway, night from us, see you tomorrow. Boo, have an apple. I didn't get much footage of our last day. We went for breakfast and then honestly just chilled. Everywhere was kind of shut because of the bank holiday. But we did then go for dinner with Grandma and Margaret and then me and Sean decided to head out that evening just for a few extra pints to call the holiday at an end. So that's exactly what we've done. We went to this bar. I believe it's McCarthy's bar. Honestly, it's the most unique bar you'll ever see in your life. Like, it's like an alleyway. But it's just so pretty. Like, honestly, me and Sean, like just love it um yeah it is mccarthy's bar in donegal town but in any way that is going to wrap this video up because like i said on the day we traveled home i didn't take any content because honestly we were just sitting in a car for six hours i didn't think you'd want to say that thank you so much for coming along on this vlog with us i really hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you very shortly for another one bye